In the last video, I showed you how to use AI to write Figma plugins for you. In this video, I'll show you how to use AI and a Figma plugin called Scripter to automate tasks without writing a full plugin. You'll also learn how to fix code errors with AI along the way. Welcome to Figma Bytes, the video series that aims to teach you to speed up your Figma workflow. The first thing you'll need is a plugin called Scripter. To install this, open the action menu by pressing the shortcut Command K and typing Scripter. You should see a matching result with an orange icon. Click it to open the plugin. If you don't see a sidebar on the left, click the hamburger menu in the upper left corner to toggle it open. You'll see a bunch of intro content that explains some of the things Scripter can do. But if you aren't very familiar with JavaScript, most of it won't make sense. We'll have AI writer code for us anyway. You might be thinking, why would I use this instead of writing a full plugin? Well, it requires less steps, and I like to use it for automating tasks in my files, like arranging mocks in a certain way, or fixing capitalization across all my content. Imagine you've been making a bunch of mocks of different steps of a flow. Your mocks are named based on the step of the flow, but they're all over the place in your file. You want to organize them into frames so you can easily compare your iterations in an upcoming meeting. We'll use Scripter to do this for us in one click. Let's start by creating a couple frames that are named based on the steps you've been designing. The first one we've named Choose Mocks, the second one is Customize Mocks, and the last step is called Checkout Mocks. Let's make sure these have auto layout applied so the mocks will stack up inside of them. You can see as I scroll around the file that all the frames scattered everywhere match the first word of these new frames. Next, you need an AI chat interface. I'll be using Gemini, but you can also try ChatGPT or whatever else you're comfortable with. The free versions will work just fine. We'll tell Gemini that we want a script for Figma's Scripter plugin, and that we have a bunch of mocks with specific names all around the page, and that we want to match the name of those mocks to some container frames with the same name plus the word mock. We'll arrange them inside the auto layout of those container frames. You can find this prompt in the description of the video. Paste it in and let's see what Gemini returns. Copy the generated JavaScript. Back in Figma, you can quickly open the last plugin you used by pressing the shortcut Option Command P. Now click the plus icon in the toolbar of Scripter. Click the title to rename it to Mock Mover or whatever else you'd like. Now click into the empty code area and paste the code. With the code in place, head to the upper right of Scripter and press the play button to run the script. Hmm, nothing happened. This usually means that there's an error somewhere. Let's open the console by pressing the shortcut Option Command I and run the plugin again. Look for an error in console. You can ask Gemini to fix the code based on the error message. Copy the error from the console. Back in Gemini, tell it that the script had an error and then paste in the error message. Gemini should generate an updated script. Copy the script and head back to Figma. I found that Scripter does better if you remove the script and create a new one. I've had times when it leaves trailing bits of code and things don't work. Click the X next to the name of the script in the sidebar to remove it. Then click the plus again to create a new one. Name it again. Paste in the updated script. And then press the play button in the upper right to run it. There we go. We've quickly organized all of our mocks into the groupings we wanted. Have fun imagining all the tasks you can get done with scripts. One last thing before we end the video. Scripter does a good job of saving the code locally, but I have had times when it vanishes. You can either save the code somewhere on your computer, or you can save it directly in the file. To save it in the file, click on the download icon in the upper right. You'll see a new element appear on your canvas. Close the plugin window. Now select that new element. If you look near the bottom of the right panel, you'll see a plugin section and an action that says open script. Click that and Scripter will open with your script loaded up. That's how you use AI to write scripts to automate tasks with the Scripter plugin. I hope this Figma Byte helps you actively automate annoying tasks with AI. Thanks for watching.